Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's in Store Fridays. My name is Mark Cockrell and I'm going to show you what we have on the online store. And we have a lot of cookbooks and I'm going to do one of the recipes out of the cookbook. It's called a buttermilk uh, cucumber salad. And I don't know about you, but I love buttermilk pies, buttermilk pancakes. I make a really good lemon buttermilk cake. Anyway, so when I saw this recipe in the Vittles book, this is a, an award-winning book by Ronnie Lundy. We had her here to come speak a couple years ago and she was wonderful. But in her book, she has a great recipe and it's called buttermilk um, cucumber salad. What you're gonna need is um, two cups of sliced cucumbers. Uh, you're gonna need a half a cup of sliced onion, a cup of buttermilk, and I'll put these recipes on the, um, on the blog that we have on the store. You're gonna need some salt, some sugar, um, and some brown, uh, ground pepper. All right, so first you wanna do, if you have fresh cucumbers out of the garden, you just wanna slice them really thin. If you get them from the grocery store, a lot of people, you know, it's hard to get that wax off of the cucumber, but you can't just scrub them really hard. Um, but I also like to, just to get a lot of that skin on, since it does have a lot of the wax, I'll just sort of shave it different, uh, and leave some of the green on there just for looks. But you can take your little potato peeler here and just go right down it. Because when you slice it, you want to slice these fairly thin. It just makes a nice little pinwheel with a little bit of green showing on it. Well, what you're going to do once you have all this made, you're going to let it marinate some. So you do want to cut them fairly thin. You're going to want about two cups. And two cups is about, I don't know, three quarters, three quarters of a pound of cucumbers would do it. It makes a great summertime salad. It's nice and cool when it's done. This and a cocktail is probably all you need for a really good supper. Uh, and then you want to cut up a sweet onion. I have a Vidalia onion here. You want to cut some slices really uh, fairly thin. And you just throw all that also in the bowl. But you're going to need like a half a cup of sliced onions. All right, for the dressing, you want to take a cup of buttermilk, which I've got right here. And you're going to add a tablespoon of cider vinegar. You want to go ahead and put this in a jar that has a lid because we're going to be shaking this up. I've got some dill here. I'm going to chop up and you need um, a tablespoon of this. Just chop it up. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And to take a little bit of the bite out, you're going to want a teaspoon of sugar. Put the lid on. Give it a good shake, make sure you combine it all. And then just pour this right over your dressing with all that good dill in it, buttermilk. So then you wanna stir it up just to combine it all really well. Once it's combined, you wanna marinate it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so. Okay, and that's it. And we'll let it marinate. You know, while it, it marinates for about 30 minutes, you have time to make a cocktail. So we're gonna show you how to make a cocktail using the raspberry jam that we sell in the store. Okay, while we have the uh, salad marinating, we're gonna whip up a little uh, cocktail. And this is, uh, we're using the raspberry jalapeno that we sell in the store, uh, but it's gonna make a little spicy margarita. We're gonna make a kicking raspberry margarita. So the first thing you wanna do, since it is a margarita, you wanna take a lime with your glass so we can turn them upside down and get those rims salted. Just two tablespoons of the jam. Yeah, we'll go ahead and double it up here. But this is great jam that we sell and it's from Fort Mill, South Carolina. So you want four tablespoons of that. All right, so we're getting the uh, two ounces of lime juice here. Get 
You want uh, four ounces of tequila for two drinks. This is agave syrup. Agave comes from the agave plant. And this is sort of like a, a lot of people will use it um, instead of sugar, but um, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's not as strong, uh, but you're going to need two ounces of the agave syrup. Okay, once you have all your ingredients, uh, that's pretty much it. You want to load up your shaker with ice. And we're going to get the party started here. Put your lid on. And as we usually say, shake, 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 until it gets nice and frosty on the outside. It does have an air in it, so it is a little spicy. Alright, so once you pour that in there, you want to take a couple of lime slices and put it on the end. Cocktail that you can make easily enough while you're waiting for your salad to marinate. Speaking of, when you pull it out of the refrigerator, just give it another good toss and put it in your bowl that you're going to be serving it in. I would take a couple sprigs of dill just for some decoration. And there you have it, a nice ice cold cucumber salad with a couple of raspberry margaritas. And I hope you enjoyed this segment and visit our online store at chmuseums.myshopify.com to get the book that has the uh, recipe in it for the salad, as well as the uh, jams that we sell on the online store. We'll see you next time. Thank you.